Hey guys, so it's Monday, it's 1 p.m. and um, I'm probably not gonna do that much today because I do have a riding lesson later today. So that doesn't give me too much time to do that much, but today is my dog's birthday. The birthday boy! Yeah, you! He's turned 11 today. Let you see. Oh buddy, come here. Come here. He got a little birthday treat today. The butt. So I got my packages and um I think this one's my printer cover. Yay! It's from digital desk covers. So and then this, um, I'm thinking is my glossy paper. This is, I ordered this paper because, uh, so that I can print my, um, my color tests for my stickers on something that's not sticker paper. So I just got some glossy paper that will be similar to the sticker paper, hopefully. So, yeah, so I don't have to waste expensive sticker paper for just testing stuff so I can just use this and then I can save the stuff in my little booklet which I'll show you so I have this like sorry ignore my like pillow that my dog likes to sleep on <laughs> so I have this booklet where I keep all my my color swatches in so Daniel Smith's watercolors has this really cool um, swatch color try thing so I use it as like a little catalog <laughs> for when I want to like get new colors even though I don't use watercolors as much as I would like to um, I still really love the Daniel Smith watercolors um, they're just so freaking gorgeous and oh my god <laughs> so I think this I think this is all the colors that they have it might be not updated now I'm not sure um, but yeah, I just went in and went in with some water and uh, played with the colors and stuff. And then I have Windsor Newton watercolors because I have a few of these. Uh, these are not painted on, these are just printed, so the colors are probably not as accurate. Um, but gouache, Windsor Newton gouache, I have a few of those as well. Again, it's printed. And then I have Arteza gouache, um, which I uh, did these swatches on some watercolor paper and wrote all their info that's on the box and stuff. And then uh, my Copic color chart. I don't have that many, <laughs> um, but I thought it was pretty fun to just go and do this. But yeah, here's the test sheets that I was talking about. So I'm gonna start storing them in here. So there's like a bunch of other sheets that are empty. So I'm gonna start storing them in here and just like circling the um, settings that I like for the each stickers to uh, make my printer print the way that I want it to <laughs> um, because sometimes they come out really dull and they don't match my monitor for example I think the stickers came out like this before I did any of this um, so now they look like this um, so yeah I like this a lot better and originally I was gonna throw or not throw these out, um, like cut these stickers out and then just use them as extras, um, like sticking them on packages that I send out and stuff. But then I figured why not just keep them as like a, a catalog because each um, sticker is probably going to have different settings. So yeah, I just figured I would keep it in here. Um, but yeah, so I figured I would use this paper. Um, to just do these tests on this, instead of using my sticker paper um, and then I'll just keep these guys in because this is way more affordable than printing it on the sticker paper but yeah let's see how the printer cover is okay it's not bad I don't mind this. I thought it was going to be uh, looser because uh, one of the reviews said that it fit 
loose, but this actually fits pretty snug. I mean, not too tight, obviously. I don't want it too tight so I can just like lift it off. But yeah, that's cool. And it's also waterproof, so... <laughs> no, but um, sometimes it gets a little messy over here, so that can be good. Because I don't want no water in my printer. No, my printer won't get all dusty and full of dog hair. It's always a problem. Anyway, I guess we'll go back to Link and continue with the rest of my day. Hey guys, so it's almost 8 o'clock at night and uh, I decided to take a break from my link print to um, do some color testing on my Growlithe print. This is the Print Studio Pro uh, for the Canon Pro 100 so you can like set up these little documents and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that with the Growlithe print. Um, I'm going to do the color and then brightness test, so I have paper set up for that. Paper's in. Let's try it. It always scares me because, like, the printer sometimes just grabs it. Oh, I forgot the thing. Oop. But yeah, I'm just using the Canon paper. Oh my gosh, can you be, like, gentle? Let's see the damage. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. It's just the lighting. It does look a little dull in some places though. So now what I usually do is I take this and I do my best to compare it to my screen. The greens definitely took a hit. So I'll switch to brightness. Fish is watching. She's like, what is that? <laughs> Thank you. Such a hard choice. I'm gonna mess with this for a little bit. Oh, it's so cute. It's actually a little dark. So now that that's done, I have all this dirty water. Not really dirty water, but leftover water. <laughs> um, and so I just kind of grab some with the little turkey baster thing and water my plants. Oops. Oh well. And I water my plants with it because it's very nutritious for them. Hey guys, so it is Friday. March 8th <laughs> and it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, I can't remember where I left off in the vlog but um, basically I've just been cutting stickers <laughs> for like the longest time and um, I also got the backings for my stickers in so I've just been 
putting them all together. I'm so excited about these. Um, I feel like I've just been talking about stickers for like the longest time, but I'm really excited. So I've just been packing these. But I'm thinking about uh, doing some photos today and hopefully getting them up either today or over the weekends. Yesterday I went to the barn with my friend to see her horse, which was fun. I haven't seen him for quite some time, so I missed the little guy. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just gonna pack stickers for the rest of the day. Or actually, you know what, no. Like I said, I'm gonna try to take pictures. I did get this light, so hopefully I can get better lighting in both my videos and just like uh, photos of my products. And then for the link print, it's pretty much done. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do the speed paint and what I'm going to do with that. So that's like done. I'm also thinking maybe I'll do vlogs like every week and then have like a speed paint every two weeks. Cause my art takes a really long time and I don't even know like how editing will even go now since it takes so long. But I'm not trying to force myself to upload art every week because it just takes me too long to finish and I don't want to rush through it because that's what I did previously on this channel and it just really didn't help me out mentally and just uh, my art because I just felt like I wasn't getting the things that I wanted out so. Yes, that is the plan. We'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.